Well, thank you, Mickey. Um, Florence Nightingale, I'm not. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, so I, I'm chairperson of Pete. Uh, Pete is not a person, and, uh, but uh, Pete is a family. Uh, uh, Pete is parents uh, in Northern Ireland, it's our staff, and it's also our links with uh, the University of Ulster and Queen's Court Centre. Our mission is to help the children and the young people and the adults uh, reach their full potential by through uh, ABA and support to parents and carers. And that still remains our mission. Our mission is not to see Pete stay alive. In fact, our mission was to see that Pete didn't exist and that statutory services would actually provide ABA, but that's still not the case. We do a lot of different things. We provide individual family support, so we employ behaviour analysts to go out to families, to their homes, to schools, and actually work with kids. Of course, I should say I'm a parent, and uh, this is actually my wee boy, Mikey, who is now 15. Uh, he's still severe autism, but uh, I don't know where he would be without, uh, you know, applied behaviour analysis and the work that my, my wife and the therapy team that uh, do with him and the guidance from Pete. Um, so we work with the kids uh, in, their, in their homes, providing that much needed support because that's where they live most of their time. We also organise fun activities. Uh, we've, uh, we can do banana boating and all sorts of different things. And, and this is for families, you know, families can come along and, and have a good time, network with each other and, sh and share their own experiences. We also offer play days once a month. And the, the idea behind this was that basically if you're a parent, uh, it's hard to get babysitters. If you're a parent of a child with autism, it's practically impossible to get babysitters. So what we do is we actually provide supervised play at our monthly workshops, and the parents can go off and learn about uh, effective intervention, ABA, and the kids can have a good time, which is a nice idea. Um, more recently, we've done some weekends away for young people, and that turned out to be a great success. Uh, these are, tend to be more high-functioning uh, young people, but they have a great time, they make friends, and, 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 and this was, I think, funded by BBC Children in Need. Um, and we, this is our mission, is to train parents and professionals, parents and carers and professionals in the science of ABA. This was all started by Mickey back in 1997 or something like that. I remember going to one of the first workshops that Mickey ran in his own time at the University of Ulster in Coleraine, where parents came along and Mickey actually taught us about the science of behavior and behavior analysis. Pete does other things. We organize conferences. Thank, thank goodness that the court is now <laughs> starting to take on that role because it's a lot of effort, a lot of time, and energy has to go into organizing conferences and, of course, bringing speakers from all over the world. And the court doing that very successfully now, so Pete can relax on that front, I think. Doing it together, of course. Publications, uh, books, uh, Parents Education as Autism Therapist, published in, I think it was 1998, I'm not sure. Now translated into Japanese as well, is that right? And German, okay. And of course, uh, on the, on the right-hand side there, we have uh, a, a sort of a groundbreaking report that was published through funding from the Royal Irish Academy in collaboration with both Queen's and the University of Ulster. And that was, we, we, we uh, used evidence from 100 families and maybe 60 professionals on what, what was required for, to help families facing autism. But that report and its recommendations were effectively ignored by those, uh, the powers that be. And we do innovative things. Um, we did a creative arts exhibition a while back, uh, toured Northern Ireland with that. 
Well, some interesting things came out of that. We actually ran workshops and for the kids how to do creative writing. They did animation. They did artwork as well. It was very nice. So one thing that we have done that is very innovative um, and sort of groundbreaking was to actually develop simple steps. Initially, we got funding from BBC Children in Need and Big Lottery. And working with uh, Stephen and Mickey and Corolla, we were able to bring uh, training to parents who you know, couldn't attend workshops or whatever. And that was the idea. We made a, a multimedia training package. So we thought it was a bright idea. So back in 2005, we got our funding and we developed Simple Steps, which was a hard copy um, parent training package. So you got a box with a DVD and a, a CD and a little book that told you about autism. Uh, there was real video footage of, of kids with autism, the problems you would face if you were a parent of a child with autism, how that was diagnosed, and what you should do, what can you do to help your child. And a lot of really good stuff in there in terms of curriculum and and understanding science. And then, uh, under Mickey's uh, sort of coordination again, we, we actually thought, well, wouldn't it be a nice idea to translate this? We had demand from all over the world uh, for simple steps. At that stage, Pete, small charity, we weren't really in a position to roll out simple steps on a global basis. Um, and so we translated into different languages uh, through funding with Leonardo. Uh, into Norwegian, Spanish, and uh, German. And we made hard copies again, and a thousand copies were given out in each of those countries to help parents, which is great. And by 2009, we thought, look, we're going to have to be sustainable here. We, we need a revenue stream to actually develop this. Uh, it'll help parents globally, and it might help actually bring some revenue and the peak to help children in Northern Ireland as well. So we, we set up Simple Steps Northern Ireland Limited. Anyway. And that's available online now. So if you, no matter where you live in the world, you can go online and you can sign up for Simple Steps online. And then in 2011, again, Maggie led us forward there with Stamp 2. And this involves Sweden, Italy, uh, Netherlands and Iceland. Hope I haven't forgotten any countries. Anyway, so today is the launch of this version. Uh, but the difference with Stamp 2 is that it's an online uh, platform. No problem, Stephen. And the idea is that we will now have uh, an upgraded uh, simple steps that's going to help parents throughout Europe. Not just Northern Ireland, but throughout Europe to actually learn about autism and the science of behavior analysis and how that can help children with autism. So it's quite amazing in the, the, the fact that while children in Northern Ireland cannot still access ABA, we're actually helping parents throughout the world understand autism and ABA. Just to mention one last thing, we've recently received, I can't remember the exact amount, 470,000, something like that, pounds uh, to, from Big Lottery Fund um, in collaboration with both Queen's and University of Ulster to address, or to try to help address, educational inclusion for young people with autism. This is an exciting pro uh, a project. Um, one innovative aspect of that project is to actually use technology to assist us in uh, intervention with our children. One thing I hate, I'm a, I'm a parent, first and foremost. I'm a scientist, but I still don't like taking data. <laughs> okay? So if I'm facing a tantrum in a supermarket or whatever, I'm not coming out with my notebook going, ah, oh, yes, I'm watching that, okay? One of the big problems we face is actually collecting this data, which we have to base our decision, decisions on, on how um, we can then understand that data and 
what happens if we intervene and things like that. So we, we, we're working with the, the uh, Center for, for uh, the Smart Environments Research Group at the University of Ulster as well as part of this to develop um, smart phone applications to actually help young people, help their parents to intervene. Um, one, uh, one aspect of it is called the Virtual Buddy App. So we're hoping that that will help kids who are maybe in mainstream, you know, to like uh, manage their own behaviour. If they need help, they can get help. They can carry that in their pocket, which is it's a, it's an innovative approach. And that's all I have to say. Except thanks to all the partners for uh, being part of the project, and Pete's really glad to be part of it. Thank you.